Hey, what's up you guys? I am here at Disney California Adventure with Tiffany. Hi. Hey. We're here because it is a food and wine festival and we just got our little food and wine passports. Uh, so we're gonna go taste around all the booths. Tiff is gonna make a video of all the things she's gonna eat. I'm gonna make a video of all the things I'm gonna eat. And so check them both out. Yeah. But we're gonna go grub right now. already very busy here. The lines are like very long. But let me explain what this Soup and Savor Pass is. Similar to the ones they've had before for like the festival of Christmas. Festival of holidays. Festival of holidays. <laughs> uh, I went up five dollars. I believe the festival of holidays was forty bucks, and now it's forty-five. So basically, you get eight coupons to use on any food or drink that's non-alcoholic, uh, and it comes out to about five fifty for per coupon. So you want to spend it on an item that's more than five fifty. Uh, a lot of the main course items are around seven seven fifty, so I recommend spending it on those. Uh, if you want something under five fifty, then I would recommend just using your credit card or cash and save your tickets to. To get the most bang for your buck. Also, you don't get change or anything with these too. So yes, if you get exactly. something like that's less valuable than what it's technically worth, mm -hmm. then you're not gonna get any like okay. change back or anything anyway. Yes. So be smart about it. Smart. All right, so we just stopped by our first booth, which was Citrus Grove. I got the orange chicken uh, with some rice. And it looks like it has some like tangerines in it as well. And then what did you get to? I got the citrus rind pork roast. Um, it came with the lemon pepper slaw that I opted to not get. Um, pretty excited to try this though. Yeah, it looks Just good. to have a tangy citrus barbecue sauce. Not sure what that is on the top though. Uh, taste it. <laughs> I know it tastes a lot of citrus in it, but Maybe it's it was nice. because of the slaw. Well, maybe. It was like a lemon, <laughs> it was a lemon pepper slaw. True. Tiff doesn't do good with veggies. Yeah. It's pretty good, you know? Mmm. It's good, right? Mm-hmm. I still don't know what this is. It's like pulled pork. Kind of. You know what this is? Like yeah. Like pork the, rind? This, it tastes like a... A funion with like different flavoring on it. Carl Scott Brewery. Yeah. So the chicken looks fried. Um, they have the orange sauce on it. Let me get a big chunk of this. Mm. Yeah. It's very Asian-y. I mean, it's like an orange chicken dish. So. Yeah, but it tastes more teriyaki sauce. Asian-y. It's orangey. You know a lot more teriyaki? Yeah, it tastes like a, <laughs> more like a, the soy sauce is what it tastes like. Yeah. It's like an orangey soy sauce. I think I'm supposed to <laughs> eat it with the orange. Because I choke and die on it. But chicken's really good. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, uh, no, chicken's really good. Uh, but I don't, I'm, I'm missing the orange. Other yeah. than the fact that there's actual like tangerines on it, the sauce doesn't taste like orange sauce. It's definitely a sweet sauce. Like, it's sauce. So our two items from the citrus <laughs> section. Hey, are you gonna die? <laughs> <laughs> We're back. Um, citrus stuff. Didn't really taste citrusy. I know. <laughs> Join us next time when I don't die. So we just stopped by the Cluckadoodle Moo booth. I got a beef slider with a chimichurri sauce. This is a tenderloin slider. And what'd you get? I got, it's a Parmesan vinegar chicken wings. Ooh. I can't believe how many wings there's for. They're pretty huge, actually. Now, I'm gonna say already, I took my slider and put it on a napkin because it like came in this vat of oil. <laughs> yeah, that's it's, it's not what the picture looked like. No, for and there's sauce. really no chimichurri sauce on it. If you cut to the picture, <laughs> and then cut back to this, uh, looks a little different. But let me try this. Yeah, there's a, there's a it's a little bit of a mess right now. All right, here we go. It's good. It's not bad, but again, I think I'm still missing the chimichurri sauce. And 
I asked for more. And then he just gave me oil. <laughs> so, I will say though that if you're using the Sip and Savior class, this seems like the best deal because this is $8. Um, and that's the most expensive dish I've seen so far. So, if you're looking to make the best bang for your buck, try the slider. It's pretty good. I would just wish there was more chimichurri sauce. But those wings look bomb. They come they do, with. They look so good. Four wings, which is a good amount of wings. Yeah, this is a lot. Like I, I thought there would be like two, but there's four. Okay, okay. Yeah. I expected it to be more vinegary. There's not. I mean. Just Parmesan. A little bit of Parmesan. It's like a very subtle. Like I was expecting like salt and vinegar and salt, yeah. like salt and vinegar chips flavor out of it. But not, not fully getting it. But it's good. Like it's not like juicy. Like it's a good wing. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like, There's like a hint of vinegar. I got like yeah. the tiniest hint. But, but it's not bad. Yeah. I think, try the slider? No, thank you. Okay. <laughs> so currently we're in the Peppers Caliente line. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty long. <laughs> That's just the pickup pick line. Yeah, <laughs> Ready bought it. Uh, seems to be one of the most popular items, the salmon poke bowl. Uh, first time I went in the line, they were out of it. Now I'm back in the line. I bought it, but they still might run out. Hopefully I get it. I'm pretty excited for it now that I know that it's so limited. But I'll let you know in like 20 minutes when we get to the front. <laughs> so I got my poke. I'm pretty excited. Uh, there's a lot in here. I was, I was very surprised at how much is in here. It looks beautiful. It does. Oh, there's a little, there's like a cucumber salad at the bottom. So it comes with, I don't even know what it comes with. Let me read it off to you. It comes with uh, salmon, cucumber lime salad, and verde sauce. So that's where the peppers come in. There's a verde sauce on it, and then the cucumber salad is at the bottom. I'm a really big fan of poke, so I'm super excited for this. Mm. It's very fresh. Yeah? Well, yeah. we're in California, we should have fresh um, the, fish. The verde sauce is a little spicy, um, but you can tone it down with some of the cucumber salad. I'm a fan. It might be my favorite dish so far. Yeah. Worth the hype? Worth the hype. If they have it, get it. Because it's very limited. We're making our way to their last booth because it is getting dark and I, my stomach is getting full. But I promised myself I was going to go to the avocado booth and get an avocado ice cream. Such a little California boy. So just like the booth, <laughs> It's avocado time. Your camera whipped. Day 532. We get to make it. To we're the still on the avocado, avocado line. Oh, uh, so yeah, it's, we've been in. I think we've been in line for like 20 minutes, literally. Uh, still haven't gotten my avocado ice cream. Uh, so it's if you also dark and cold now. So yeah. I'm if you sure. see a uh, a short line in the avocado time booth, get in it. Otherwise, you might be waiting longer than normal. So far, I've seen the longest lines, avocado, and the pepper cali, caliente. We also saw a really long line at LA. Oh, LA style, LA yeah. LA style. We didn't get anything from oh, there, but it was Because we live here. <laughs> it is like pretty funny. It's yeah. like, oh, you're in Orange County? You want some food from up the rest? Yeah. I'll update you in 20 minutes when I get my avocado ice cream. <laughs> Not a fan. <laughs> we got it. Comes in like a little pouch. So excited. It looks very creamy. So strong. Hold on. Oh. oh. I must <laughs> After 20 minutes. Oh, what did I? Oh my god. I am so excited. He's working it out, working it out. It tastes like avocado. <laughs> I 
Are you surprised? A little. I didn't think ice cream could be, like, it almost has the very uh, thick, creamy consistency of an avocado, like if you, like, mashed it up. I don't, like, but it's avocado and, like, the refreshness of, like, cucumber. Does this that sounds, make sense? This sounds like my worst nightmare. <laughs> When you first taste it though, it almost tastes like nothing. Mm. Like I'm eating nothing. I want Tiffany to try this. I really do. You're gonna try I it. I really don't want to. Yeah, it's honestly, I don't think you. Can I hold it? Yeah. You won't really taste anything. <coughs> oh, she doesn't like it. <laughs> nope. Oh, no, I can't no. drop it. <laughs> <laughs> not a fan. Nope. She's it not like a fan. Took my bread, like. <laughs> I ruined her no. life. I was like, oh my god, it's. I hate it so much. I really like it, you guys. <laughs> it tastes like grass. It's like milky grass. It's like a milky avocado ice cream. I guess that's why I don't like that's avocado. Why they call it avocado <laughs> ice cream. <laughs> Have fun with that, bye. All right, we just got done with food and wine. I am super stuffed. I'll have to say my favorite item that I had today was the salmon poke bowl and just now the avocado ice cream. Super refreshing. Obviously, Tiff didn't think the same. Nope, nope. <laughs> but I would Never. definitely try those if you guys come out to uh, Food and Wine Festival at DCA. It runs through the 12th. Let me know down in the comments below what you tried, what you liked, and also be sure to check out Tim's video because we ate a bunch of items that aren't on this video, and one of them including a popcorn lemonade. Crazy. And they, that fruit sheet that everyone And the fruit sheet, about. yeah. Crazy stuff. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye.